Channel 5's teen reporter, James Marsden. And before the break, we were discussing your background in Oklahoma. That was, that was your move. Very nice. I got a few. Now, uh, we actually do a segment on this show that highlights real events in small towns, and it's called Community Calendar. And s since you were a local news reporter, would you like to do it with me sometime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then it's time for Stillwater, Oklahoma's Community Calendar. Welcome to Community Calendar, your source for what's happening in and around Stillwater, Oklahoma, and the greater Payne County area. Joining me is the boy from Payne County, which should be his wrestling name, James Marsden. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. You know what we say in Stillwater, sure, you can leave, but you want to still want to come back. <laughs> and now, here are some actual events going on this month in Stillwater. Tuesday, May 15th is the next gathering of the Stillwater Home Brewers League. They'll meet at the Iron Monk Brewing Company because after all that hard work they put into home brewing, they need to get out and have a beer. <laughs> the Stillwater Home Brewers League lets you participate in the competitions, even become a certified beer judge. Like this. Mmm. Yeah, that's beer. <laughs> James? <laughs> Too soon to tell. May 3rd through May 5th at the Tumbleweed Dance Hall, also known to locals as The Weed, <laughs> is the Calf Fry Music Festival. If you're not from Oklahoma, a calf fry is a deep-fried bull testicle. <laughs> so make sure to go nuts and have a ball. <laughs> hey, Steven, you gonna go? Oh, no, I hear the testicle party is a bit of a sausage fest. <laughs> This week, and head on down to the Stillwater Public Library for the Friends of the Library book sale. As always, the enemies of the library book sale is at Amazon.com. <laughs> mm. Stephen, on May 15th and 16th, the Food and Agricultural Products Center will be hosting a food labeling workshop. Lesson one. People are more likely to eat deep-fried testicles if you label them calf fries. <laughs> the food labeling workshop will cover important topics like FDA labeling regulations, food allergens, and why so many cans labeled peanut brittle actually contain snakes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Darn you, FDA. May 2nd is the annual Gypsy Cafe Night down at Eskimo Joe's. It's easy to find. Just turn off West Street onto Elm Avenue and look for the crowd protesting the words Gypsy and Eskimo. Hey. You know... <coughs> you, got a I... you got a frog in your throat there, Stephen. <laughs> it's just a little bull testicle. Oh. You want to chew those well. Feeling hungry? Why not stop by Granny's Kitchen, which was recently listed as number seven in the 10 best places for pancakes in Oklahoma. <laughs> you remember Granny's motto, you've tried the best, now try the seventh. Mm. Mm. April 21st and 22nd, the Payne County Expo Center will be hosting the livestock show, Oklahoma Beef Expo. Not to be confused with the adult film of the very same name. I was young and I needed the money. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey, James, you're gonna be down at the Oklahoma Beef Expo? Oh, I never miss it. It's a great opportunity to look a bull in the eyes and whisper, I'm gonna eat your balls. <laughs> well, that does it for Stillwater, Oklahoma's community calendar. 
Let's go. And as we like to say, still, as we like to say, still water okay is actually still water really nice. <laughs> Westworld is back this Sunday on HBO. James Marsden, everybody. Yeah.